Gas stations have long been a familiar sight on American roadways. However, the gas stations we encounter today bear little resemblance to their early counterparts from the 1920s and 1940s. The place in a Texaco gasoline filling station, primarily they filled gas tanks, 1920s. As the automobile industry continued to flourish, gas stations underwent significant changes in the 1940s. In case you missed it, this is a Texaco station. The world's first purpose-built gas station was constructed in St. Louis, Missouri. In 1905, at 420,000 Teresa Avenue. Our team did our best to make this video interesting for you guys. We'd appreciate your likes and subscribe. Enjoy! Land wasn't at premium then like it is now. Note the wide open layout and the nice row of little trees. This was a Texaco Gasoline Motor Oil Service Station. The concept had become a service station. Looks like an early mall. At one location, you could fill up your tank, get a loan so to look prosperous with a new suit, and have a meal while your spark plugs were changed. 1920s. Ford Sales and Service. Look at all the Model T's. 1920s. In the past, filling stations in the United States offered a choice between full service and self service. Before 1970, full service was the norm and self service was rare. Dome gas. You better try it because it's better. It better be good since they want 23 cents a gallon for it. 1920s. The Mons Tire Shop. Barney Old Field Tires only 9.99 each sounds kind of expensive to me no the water can be the side of the road and the barricades around the trees know the name of the station toot and come in ken toot was big news in the 20s so why not capitalize it this is a really modern looking station with the full roof and multiple islands of pumps Four wheel drive auto sales and service, the SUVs of the 20s. This photograph takes us back to the early days of motoring with a scene set at the gas station. A classic car, indicative of the 1920s or 1930s style, is being served by an attendant. The image shows an early example of a motor vehicle, possibly from the late 19th or early 20th century, given its rudimentary design. The vehicle appears to have a very basic engine and a tiller rather than a steering wheel. The photograph shows a candid moment at a fueling station, likely from the mid-20th century. A service attendant in a work uniform is interacting with a well-dressed woman, possibly giving her a receipt or change, as she holds a cigarette. The photo depicts an older gentleman fueling a classic car at an ESSO service station, likely taken in the mid-20th century, based on the wickle and pump design. The car's radiator grill and headlamp style suggests it's from the 1920s or 1930s. The photograph captures a woman in mid-century attire fueling a car at a shell service station, indicative of the era's shift towards more women drivers and their increasing independence. The image is a candid snapshot of a service station attendant in the act of refueling a car at an ESSO gas pump. His workwear at an ESSO badge on his shirt suggests he's an employee. 
and his focused expression indicates he's attentive to his task. The photo shows a woman in a stylish outfit of the time, refueling a car at a Dexaco station. The price sign indicates 6 and 6, which might suggest the photo is from the UK, as it appears to be in the shillings and pins, pretty similar currency. Photograph showing a service station attendant engaging with a female customer who is watching as he operates the fuel pump. The scene likely from the 1950s or 1960s. Photo shows two women at a gas station, likely from the mid-20th century based on their attire at the vehicle's design. One woman is operating the pump, filling up the car with airport ethyl. Photo, a woman is seen filling up a car with gasoline. The car appears to be a classic from the mid-20th century, and the woman is dressed in a mechanic's jumpsuit. The photo depicts two women engaged in automobile maintenance at a service station named Victory Girls. One woman is refueling the car, while the other is inspecting or working on the front wheel. In this photo, a man is fueling the car at Harold Service Station, which offers lubricating and washing services. As indicated by the signage, the presence of the Kuo oil brand is prominent. The photo shows a stylishly dressed woman in the mid-20th century refueling her car at a gas station. The no smoking sign on the pump is a safety warning that remains a standard at fueling stations today. This nostalgic photograph showcases the world's smallest station, as advertised on its signage. It is a tiny one-room service station selling standard oil products. Brothers Roy and Lee Sawyer stand by the tiny gas station. They help start up with their father, G. M. Sawyer. The brother closed the station before heading off into the service. Jastic Sack on Newborough, the New York area, August 22, 1924. Photo by Steve Hackey Collection. The photograph captures a woman in mid-century attire fueling a car at a shell service station, indicative of the era shifts toward more drivers and their increasing independence. Thank you so much for your watching. Don't forget to like and subscribe and see you next video.